tranny. Look, new engine and I got new rear end. This van will be like brand new. I'm, the only thing I gotta do is shock. I'm putting load adjusters. That's fucked up. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. And then listen to this. Then this bitch pig, this female pig and another pig showed up at the other hospital and started fucking interrogating me and saying they were going to try to blame me for threatening them. Trying to say that I threatened to kill them and shit. I, you know what I did, dude? I yelled at him. I said, get the fuck out of my face like this. And I had a cane in my hand. I was ready to hit him with my cane. And those pigs jumped back. I yelled at them so fucking loud and they left, dude, and I never seen them again. <laughs> they fucking... I was like, motherfucker, just try to charge me with something. Just try. Oh, dude, don't get locked up in New Mexico, dude. They almost killed me. They killed two guys just in the overnight section when I was in there. You know when you go in overnight and they let you out the next day for, like, drunk driving or trespassing? They killed two guys in there. It's dude, fun. it's the most dangerous jail in the country, they said. Dude, they killed two motherfuckers just in the overnight fucking section. And then when you get sent up to the next floor, they fucking try to kill you, dude. Oh, dude, they hate white guys. They want to kill you. You're like fucking lunch meat in there. You're dinner. The second you go in, the Chicanos go berserk. They start like this, yelling and screaming. Then they gang up on you and try to kill you, dude. They try to break you into your cell and open up your cell and kill you with homemade shanks. All I've oh, seen is... Bad, dude. Don't go to jail in New Mexico. It's, I'm telling you, this lawyer said, dude, you're one tough cookie. Because that lawyer, right, He this wasn't even in New Mexico. He's heard about it. This attorney heard how fucking mean and rough the jails were. Dude, Santa Fe, New Mexico prison is the most dangerous prison in the country just about for a white guy. That's where the fucking riots were. The blood, this guy said the blood was two feet deep. They killed 31 fags and snitches. The fucking National Guard, they took over the whole prison. The National Guard had to come in with tear gas and take it down. Oh, yeah, they was hanging dudes off the railings with the guitar strings and shit. Oh, yeah, dude, you should have heard this. Listen to this. This is a true story. The blood, this guy said, was two feet deep, dude, in some sections. And if you didn't fight with them, they'd kill you. You had to join, join them and fight or they'd kill you. And listen to this. You know what happened? These two guards... One guard tried to lock himself in a cell, so they killed one guard and got the keys, and then they opened up that cell, dude. You don't want to know what they done to him. <laughs> well, guess what? They tried to put me in there. That's when I got charged with my first felony I beat. I beat him. They tried to put me in there, dude. I was scared shitless. They were going to try to put me in there for two years. No. Nah. Because this punk that didn't like me buying beer at a supermarket early in the morning, he lied and said I pulled a knife on him. And I almost went to Santa Fe prison. Oh, dude, do you believe that shit? This punk, dirty fucking white punk, you know, it was a white guy. This pencil neck motherfucking geek, right? He comes up and tells the pigs and lies and says I fucking pulled a knife on him, dude, when I went to buy beer the other day, right? And I was like, he's a lying motherfucker. Check it out. Three days later, he's going to tell the cops I put a knife on him. He would have picked up the phone, right? He's a manager of a big supermarket, right? Three days later. Right then and there, they shouldn't have charged me, right? I says, you don't fucking wait three days to tell a cop someone went in your supermarket and pulled a knife on you. You pick up the phone and call right away. You're the head manager of a fucking giant store like Doss, right? You know what this pig said? Well, you know, well, uh, they started talking their sideways shit, right? Next thing I know, I'm fucking indicted. Dude, indicted with no evidence whatsoever. That's how crooked this country is. Dude, there ain't no justice in this fuck country. I'll tell you right now, and I know it, but hands on know it. This fucking country is no good. No damn good, dude. <laughs> and you know why it's no good? Because of scumbags like Obama, Biden, <coughs> Trump ain't the greatest, but he's fucking the lesser of the evils. You know what I'm saying? Trump, he's made some mistakes with the medical. When <laughs> he didn't make the rich pay their fair share. When when Jerry Garcia said, "When I'm forced to make the choice of the lesser of two evils, I'm still choosing evil." That's right. a powerful statement to me. Exactly. That's the way I feel. Like I would vote for neither. I vote for none of the above. I don't like Trump. I don't like Biden. Can we but get a, somebody else Trump. pass? I take Trump over Biden any day, dude. You know why? Because Trump ain't doing this for the money, right? Trump 
He don't need the money. He's trying to help our country out. You know what I'm saying? He is, so he's done a lot of good shit, you know? I think it's weird how The Simpsons predicted it like 20 years ago. How? It's in a Simpsons what are you episode. About? It's in a Simpsons episode that Trump will be president. You're kidding me, dude. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's for real. You did? Yeah, they predicted I don't that. that episode. There, there's a bunch of like episodes. The Higgs boson particle episode. There's a lot of different episodes that like talk about like how they predicted the future. And there's a lot of things that they were spot on. They predicted Trump as being president. You know, I never fucking thought about that. You're the first one to make me think of that, or make me realize that. Learn something new every day, you know? I, he said it on Oprah, day, though. You learn something new every fucking day, don't you? Yeah. Which is a good thing. I learned a lot of new things today. I learned how to check my brake temperature by feeling the, the wheel. And, you know, it was nice. Well, your brakes, look. If you hear... If you hear... Yeah. If you hear that scraping They're sound, worn out. That means that you need to get shoes right away or you'll hurt your rotors. Oh, How I've... nice my rotors are. I did front brakes. I put over 7,000 in this, by the way. Rear brakes and front brakes were just done last year. Now, look, if your pads, listen to me, you don't change them, you know what you do next? Now you start gouging your rotors. Look. And if you ruin your rotors, they're $100 each. So now not only do you need shoes, are only 30 bucks. But you ruin your rotors, now you're talking $130 for each side instead of $60. Bucks. Now it's it's $160. No, and now it's $260. $30 bucks for each pad, right? Now you ruin both rotors, now you're, or even one, now you're looking at $160 or $260. Bucks. My brakes are pretty new. and the rotors, I... look, you take your finger, mine are perfectly smooth. You can look at those chrome ones on my front rim. You take your, I got drum on the back, as you can see. You take your finger, look, across that disc, you know, the rotor, the disc, the pads grab? Yeah. Run your finger, not when it's hot. Run your finger slowly across that rotor. When you feel it with your finger, and if it's smooth, they're good. But if you feel grooves, and it's all grooves, and you look at it, it's all grooves, now your rotors are no good. You gotta replace the rotor. Because look, if they're grooved, then what are they gonna do to that fucking asbestos pad? They're gonna wear them out in two seconds, see? That's why you have to have smooth rotors so that the pads don't wear out too quick. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he come in and told me he was investigating a break-in. I said, really, dude? You waited till everyone left to investigate a break-in? Just me? I'm the only one you're going to question? Right, right there? You know, he's a liar. And then he goes, where is it? I go, what, dude, what? He goes like this. I smell it. I go, and my windows were all up to band's locked. I go, smell what? He goes, I know you got it. I know you got the weed. Right? Like, and then when he got it in his head, he put the dog on me, dude. What? He, it up. he put the fucking dog on me. Really? It was either do that or he's going to impound it for a week and find it anyways, and then I get my van. Yeah, but he put the dog on you? Yeah, they take it for a week, they put the dog in here, and then they hold it for seven days, and then they give it back to you. Oh. And then they bust you if they find something, right? Gotcha. And then you got to worry they might try to plant something on you. Yeah. But no. you know what? If they do that, where's my fingerprints? I don't, I'll say you fucking planted it in there, dude. My, my DNA and my fingerprints are not on that, that bag of drugs. Yep. You can't do 